A lot of springtime comes with chores, spring chores, okay? And it, it goes right into summer. Brad Apple's with me from Time Plumbing. Now, Brad always brings some props with us so we can talk about things uh, and what you, can, uh, what you can run into when getting ready for the summer. And the yeah. first thing let's talk about, let's talk about sprinklers. Sprinklers, um, it's pretty much the time of the year when people are turning them on. You just go turn them on, is that what you do? There's a number of things you want to be cautious of in doing it. There can be frozen pipes that can flood inside the house. Right. Uh, so it just needs to be done cautiously by someone that, that knows what they're doing, basically. If they weren't evacuated perfectly, you could have low spots with ice up and it could have cracked it. It yes. can be leaking outside, too, not just in the house. Correct, outside or inside. And so... And you wouldn't know that unless you see it. But if it's underground, you don't know that. Correct. There's some ways to test it when you turn it on uh, to watch for. You can hear the pipe actually running or some water flowing through it. So, so you should open one zone at a time. Actually, you should have a professional. It doesn't cost that much, does it? It, it doesn't. I mean, we're basically, we're normally $120 to come out, turn on the system, get it all checked out. And uh, that's one of the specials we'll be, we'll be running today, okay. half price off on that. Half so. price on getting your sprinklers going? Yes. Okay. Yes. But if people were to do it themselves, what they really need to do is, first of all, the main water line they have to check inside to make sure it's not leaking. Yeah. And then they have to check one zone at a time and listen, right? Yes. And listen. When they're all shut off and when you have the system turned back off, listen to see if you hear any water running. If you do, it can and be a you, sign there's something. Yeah. And if you do right. it one zone at a time, it helps you to narrow that down. Mm -hmm. And then if there is a leak in a house, let's go right to this first. What, what is this thing and why do you like it? Is it inexpensive? These, these are very inexpensive. You can get them at Home Depot. Um, every house should have one in a basement, crawl space, any low area. It's a leak detector. It's a leak detector. If it senses water on the base of it, it's going to go off like a fire alarm and let you know that you've got an, an immediate issue or a problem going. You simply set that on the, the floor? And you just set it on the floor. It does have an extension. So you, you can, can put, a probe? put a probe in different areas. So just a great So if it gets wet, it lets you know. It does. And uh, really, there is no reason why you should ever have water running in your basement or in a crawl space. Right? Correct. No, there, there I mean, not be really. No. Um, because the little you would get from evaporation or something like that out of a water heater or furnace or air conditioning should be very little. Yes. What yeah. about this? You brought a cracked pipe because you want to show what could happen when things get warm and you turn that on. Yeah, and with one of these outside faucets, these things... Uh, you see that crack right there? Uh, it does have a crack on this one. This is inside the house, and right. what happens, we run into just hundreds and hundreds of these every spring hundreds of them. where we're going to be out replacing them. Uh, people, if you leave a, uh, the hose on it, it will keep water in it, push back into the house, and end up freezing and breaking the pipe here. Uh, the thing you want to do when you do turn it on, tur uh, turn on the... F one of the best ways to test it is cover the end of it, turn the, the faucet on a little bit, shut it back off. Uh, if you move your thumb away and you hear air pressure behind it, it means that there's a, a solid pipe. If you move your thumb away and there's no air pressure, most likely it's, it's escaped out That's here. That's a very good tip. Uh, just so, to, so you put your thumb over that and just turn it on a little. A little bit. Turn it back off it and up, see if you get and air. If you get a little bit of air pressure. If you do, then most likely it's not broken because it, it's held the air in there. Now, people might say if it's broken inside the house like there, then most likely why isn't it leaking? That's because this valve does not turn off here. It turns off here. Correct. It's way back here. So people go out and they run the hose for half an hour. They're outside, they come back into the house, it's been le pouring water in the house in the basement, so there's a lot of flooded houses just because of these. Uh, and that's very, time. very common. Oh, it is. We get a lot of these every spring. And that's from leaving a hose hooked up because it doesn't allow this to drain as it's supposed to. Correct. And the ones that we install have an actual pressure relief valve in the back of them, so as it builds up pressure, it will release it All back right. into the system. So, What uh, else do you check for when you come in? Tell me what we should do about air conditioners. Air conditioners, um, they should be basically turned on. We service the, uh, we come out, we service the furnace, make sure it's operating the way it should. Because the furnace, a lot of people may not understand, handles the air conditioning. Correct. The air movement of the air conditioner. Correct. And it pushes it through the house. So we make sure it's in, it's in good operating condition. The filter's clear. The blower. Uh, everything's working good there. Then we go out and we check the Freon level in the, in the air conditioner, make sure it's where it should be so that you're... Uh, the system's op operating at it, its optimum potential um, and, uh, and most cost-effective. Now, how, is leaking of refrigerant a common problem? It happens quite often. Um, 
I'd say probably 1% of the systems out there have okay. slow leaks in and them. And then you check, of course, we've seen this before, you've had it on the show, you check for gas leaks while you're there. Yes, we, we, every house we go into that we're around the furnace or water heater, we'll run tests to make sure that the gas valve's not leaking. This is a gas valve. Yes. And this is a, che a checker. So basically yes. you're going to check all of the uh, attachments. And then flex hoses, even though they call them flex, they're not necessarily made to be flexed back and forth. They're made to be put in place. You Correct. check these for slits. Yeah, for Very leaks important. or cracks. Absolutely. All right, let's go over some of these offers, Brad. I hope you have them in your head here. Let's yes, see what we absolutely. got. All right, the first 20 calls, let's go through this one. $100 off a water heater replacement for the first 20 callers. And this, by the way, is one of the best water heaters on the market um, when you talk about water tanks. It's built like a tank. It's a great water heater, and we've featured them on this show before. You can find them at martino.tv. And that's... Um, that's, that would make the price about 880 for 40 gallons, not, uh, 980 for 50 gallons. That includes removing the old one, getting rid of it, putting in the new one, everything. Mm -hmm. Now, the next 20 call, or excuse me, the first 20 calls for this offer, 50% off air conditioning or swamp cooler startup. So that would be regularly 120. It's just $60. That is an unbelievable price to have someone come to your home and take care of your air conditioner or swamp cooler. Do it the right way right now for just $60 and do it before it gets really hot because you you won't find these specials then. And then the first 20 callers for this special. So we have three specials, and this one is the third, 50% off, a sprinkler system startup. That would make that just $60. So to go through those again, you can get $100 off a water heater uh, that you choose, 40 gallons or 50 gallons. You can get 50% um, off air conditioning startup or swamp cooler startup. That makes it just $60, and you can get... 50% uh, off a sprinkler system startup, which would make it just $60. All you have to do is call 303-PLUMBER. That's 758-6237. 303-PLUMBER. On the web, 303-TIME.com. 303-TIME.com. As always, we appreciate the information you bring. Paula, what's going on?